Hello! So today, we're going to cover a few different ways to delete a blank page in Google Docs. This is something that happens all the time, especially when working with docs that originated from another source. You open it up and find out that you've got blank pages in the middle of your document where they have no business being. Well, the good news is that deleting blank pages is a pretty straightforward operation, and we should be able to help you do it in a variety of different ways. So the first way is going to seem pretty simple, but you'd be surprised how many people don't try it. So before you try anything more involved, just put your cursor at the end of the text on the page before and hit delete. In some cases, this will work perfectly. You can also try highlighting the blank page and deleting it. In some situations, though, these very basic steps aren't going to get you the result that you're looking for. Not to worry, though, there are a few other things you can try. First, head up here to the Format menu. Scroll down to Line Spacing, and then click on Custom Spacing. What we're looking at here is the line spacing after a paragraph. Essentially, if you're telling Docs to insert a certain amount of spacing after a paragraph, it could be creating a new page at the end of your document where you don't need one. If this value is anything greater than zero, try changing it back to zero and seeing if it eliminates your space. Another thing that you or someone else may have done unintentionally is inserted a page break into the document. If that's happened, you can try and delete the page, but you won't have much success. You're going to then have to remove the page break like this in order to get rid of that extra page. Finally, adjusting the margins can also sometimes solve the problem. You need to go to the Page Setup menu through the file item, and then go here to adjust your margins. The problem is often that the page is trying to insert too large of a margin on the bottom. So just shrink that down, and you should be back to the correct number of pages in your document. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.